Hello, and welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll learn how to export your 3D model from SketchUp and import it into Morfolio Trace to sketch right on top of. Let's get started. We're gonna begin this time in SketchUp. And as soon as you complete your 3D model, no matter how complex or how basic it is, you can tap this button down here, hit export, and then you can turn off your cameras and materials. You don't need those, but you do need your meshes turned on. From there, select USDZ, hit export, and then you can tap this button over here, trace, and this will automatically open your file inside Morfolio Trace. Now you can see that the 3D model has imported over inside of Trace. And what I'm going to do is it's sideways here. So all I have to do is tap the Z up button here to correct that orientation. And now I can pan around and set my view. So with one finger, I can orbit around the 3D model. If I tap once, that will reset my center for my orientation, for my orbit. If I pinch with two fingers, I can zoom in. And if I move with two fingers, I can kind of pan across the scene. Now, once I have my view set the way I like it, there are some additional features that I can set as well, which are located inside my settings button. So here there are sun controls to set accurate shadows. So you can set the exact location. If I am over here in California right now, I can hit the green check and now I have a view over there. Um, you can also uh, input a certain location that you have as well, which totally works too. And then you can set the exact time and date. So let's say this project is slated to be built in 2028, um, and I wanna see what it looks like in June and in the afternoon maybe as well. Um, so now I can see exactly how those shadows will look. Maybe for this drawing though, I like the way the shadows are sitting here in the morning. So I'll leave it there. You can also adjust your field of view to make the camera super wide angle or more telescoped. Um, I'm gonna leave it here. And then another really killer feature is this two point perspective button, which allows your angles to move from kind of skewed when you are typically orbiting around the camera and see how that corrects the angles to make them completely vertical. And you can see here when I move the model over the edge, it's completely parallel with my screen. So I know that those verticals are truly vertical. And now I have this great two point perspective to work from and gives me a really accurate drawing to start sketching on top of. All I have to do is hit the green check. And now I have a project created and you can see I have this perspective tool that is already set up, ready to go. So now when I start sketching, I am drawing two perspective right on top of this 3D model if I need to start making some adjustments or uh, just doing an outline of the 3D model, I can do all of that and do that perfectly aligned with my model based on the perspective that it is showing. So this is a really, really helpful tool as well, plus all of your other tools that uh, are active, your rulers, your stencils, all of your scale tools are right there. And then when you wanna get back to the 3D model, all you have to do is tap this cube button up here, and that will bring you back to your 3D model. You can see the sketch that I started is, is overlaid. And now I can, oops, looks like I got a little mix up here. If this ever happens where your model returns back to the wrong orientation, just in your settings, come back here, model orientation, Z up, and now I'm right back to normal. And now I can set a new view and I can save that and start sketching and drawing right on top of that. There also is an ortho view where you can do a plan. So that's another view that I could save. You can also do an elevation. So we can save an elevation as well and create all of these drawings right on the bottom um, of your view here. And then this last option up here, the POV camera allows you actually the point of view, uh, like you're in a first person video game almost where my pinch is uh, moving the camera forward and backwards actually this time. And instead of orbiting around the camera, when I move my finger 
I'm actually, it's like my, I'm turning my head around the scene rather than orbiting around the model. So that can be really helpful if you're setting up a, a kind of first person view, or if you are in an interior and you wanna be able to set up exactly how to look, this is a really great way to do that. And you have that. And now all of these drawings are, all these views are saved. So as we skip from view to view, you can see that it is going to spin around the model and then present that drawing that was made. Let's look at this example by Amin Zakaria. And you can see he's sketching on top of the same 3D model, creating a beautiful scene. If we remove these layers, you can kind of see that underneath is just the, the base 3D model. He has the perspective tool that he can use to build up the line work, which is somewhere here, the line work, and then create some amazing fills and diagrams to tell the story of this project, adding in some section sketches on top and really creating an amazing effect over the entire drawing here. And again, if we hit that cube button, we go back and now we can fly to these different views. Another really beautiful perspective. Notice the shadows that are super accurate with the shadow maker. And then he's also created this beautiful plan of the landscape, kind of telling the story of how that works, some notes about different plantings. And, uh, and now we can jump from view to view. This again is really great for presenting uh, to a client, to folks in your studio or whatever it is, um, right on top of a model that you created in SketchUp, imported into Trace, and then created amazing drawings right on top of. If you enjoyed this video, please take your Apple Pencil and hit the like and subscribe buttons. That means so much to our small team of architects turned app makers and helps us keep doing what we're doing, making amazing drawing and design tools for you. Thanks for watching and I hope you stay tuned for more how-to videos.